Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. And I basically have gone on a quest to catch the last species that I have not caught on this map, the Amur Pike. Now, I've caught Northern Pike, and I can tell you there are plenty of them right up here over at Spawn Point 1. There's some sticks and trees that are down over here on the left. Found a lot of them over there. I have fished all along here on spawn point 2 and f near 4. A lot of carp and that's silver carp and I think big head carp. I don't know, they go by different names. Uh, down here we were getting a lot of the eels but never did see any Amur pike and obviously the whales, catfish and everything were out in this area as well as the sturgeon. And Funny thing is, you see a lot of the Wells catfish here at Spawn Point 4. I was kind of surprised by that while I was looking for the Amora Pike. But when I spawned in at 4, I fished at this little... It's like a little creek type thing. And I decided to cross over here. There's this little bitty lake right here. It's kind of off by itself. And I finally caught my first Amora Pike. So we're going to... It is right now set to noon. So I don't know if it'd be better to fish this at night. Not night time, actually. Actually, uh, at uh, dusk or maybe in dawn. But we're going to try it again at noon. But this is where I am right now on the map. This is a little pond-ish type place all to itself. I think they call them an oxbow lake. But at one time it was joined with everything else, I would imagine. But I cast it right over here. And with this particular rod, it's real easy to overcast, so. And I hooked the ground again. <laughs> it's easy to do. This thing's got quite the reach. Alright, we'll try it again. But it's just the light touch here. Alright, that's better. Man, even just that was enough to get it to the other side. But I'm using this Secura Boehner 105S. Now this is this singles out the pike species. So if you're going after northern pike and the Amur pike, you're going to have better chance catching with this. Let's see. I we'll have to try it again here. Yeah, I did catch one just off screen before I started recording. Oop. Got a bit of lag there. Of course, you know that was off screen as soon as I start reeling it in here. I need to take that drag down quite a bit. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of tension here, too. But you need to have that speed set to about 22, 24, something of that that range now I just gotta find another one and of course I'm now not gonna get one <laughs> well he is in my net so I can show him to you but we're gonna try over here we might that gonna I always wanna throw it hard as I can you really just can't hear This is a very small pond. There we go. I think we're in the water now. There we go. The only good thing about this game is you don't get snags very easily. It's not very realistic, but 
rather not get snags if I can keep from it. But I'm seeing some beluga sturgeon down in here and a whale's catfish over there. I'm sure they're smaller. No, actually, that might be a beluga as well. No, <laughs> I swear to God. Well, I'll tell you, trust me, I did get him. Actually, let me go ahead and show you. <laughs> yeah, here he is. He was a three star, too. That's what they look like. They look very similar to the Northern Pike. Except, un unlike the Northern Pike, they don't have the stripes. They have spots. I don't think they're quite as big, either. But I'm not that familiar with them, so... I could be dead wrong on that. I've been dead wrong in the past, so... I think what we're gonna do is go back to the map. Not that. Map, there we go. And it's a little hard to see. So we haven't had any luck there, but once. <laughs> and five, have we been to five? I think I, well, actually I'm not sure. Let me see here. All right, where am I here on this map? Okay, I'm facing this way, so the actual lake is over here. Okay, this looks like a good place for pike. Maybe. <laughs> We're getting a lot of lag again, though. Yeah, let me, let me put that away. Yeah, if you hit the same button again, you can put your gear away, but... Maybe over here, there's some cover that Pike seemed to enjoy. There's too much brush there. Okay, we got us a dock. That's cool. Yeah, see those stick-ups? Any kind of stick-up is usually good, but... The only thing is, well, there's some stick-ups over there, too. So we could try a few spots just to see if there are any hanging out. I'm going to toss this right along here. That was actually not bad. Didn't throw it up on the shore again. Nothing on that. Yeah, I'm afraid this is going to overcast for sure. You know? It didn't. Did not overcast. Surprised. Yeah, I did already complete a quest, and all, all it required me to do is catch a fish weighing a certain weight. But the other two daily missions, I actually have to go back to one of the other maps to get. They want you to catch a sea trout, and I believe garfish or something. I, like I said, I am not seeing any pike at all. Okay, we're going to try throwing across here. There's some more stick-ups over there. And they're a good ways off, but not a big deal for this particular rod. I still was right on the edge of the thing. Yeah, this is a caldera which is actually a volcano, an ancient volcano. It formed a natural lake from its uh, crater. Yeah, I don't know if this could someday become a live volcano or not, but... I'm not seeing... Uh-oh, something's coming. There we go. What is this? Actually, I think it is one, but it's kind of small, but I will take it at this point. Yeah, he's nowhere near as big as the one I got last time, but... 
Yeah, he's just a baby. Oh, good God. <laughs> he really is a baby. 2.90 pounds. He's nowhere close as big as the one I just had. In fact, I'm going to release him. Get more XP for him. Well, maybe they're here. We'll see if we can get another one to bite, but it didn't matter the size of that lure. He went after it anyway, despite his little size. Well, seems like noon is still pretty good. And keep an eye on those bubbles. Sometimes that means fish are spawning in. Maybe we can get a bigger one. Now this one, I'm not sure of the weight. I may have to check, because there's I've got some other lures that are a little bit bigger. Might be able to attract the bigger one if it's out here somewhere. Yeah, see all these stick ups down on the bottom? That's really good cover for them. Yeah, they're kind of an ambush predator. They sit under the sticks and hide and wait for things to swim by. Okay, I don't know what that is, but it's coming for it. Boom! Uh, that is a northern pike, but I will take him. And he is more like what I was hoping to get of the Amur. <laughs> He is good size. Yeah, I might have to might have to bump up the drag on this a little bit to get him in. A little bit more. Keep an eye on the the tension. Yeah, he's coming in. He's at about seven, 67 feet now. Yeah, he's a big fella. I don't know if he's a record for me, but he's definitely a good-sized fish. Okay, he is actually taking it back out again. Okay, we're going to bump this up a little bit. Okay, he is a big fish. Let's see how big this guy is. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Three star northern pike. But yeah, I, technically they don't have stripes. They have spots too, but the bottom parts look more like stripes to me. Their spots are light spotted against a dark green background for their skin. Now the Amur pike was the kind of like the negative of that, <laughs> so to speak. Alright, we're going to go ahead and keep him for sure. We might just keep right here. Now, I thought I had fished here, but maybe I have not. Or maybe I did it from that opposite shore. I think that might be the case, honestly. Yeah, I'm going to try to throw over there by those stick-ups over there. I mean, we did get a little and more, so they are here. Yeah, when I was over that other spot, there's like all kinds of northern pikes. But they were just of varying sizes. I did not see anything but the northern pike. Okay, I can't tell what that is, but it looks a lot like a salmon of some kind, or a... I think that's a beluga down there. Yeah, I keep looking, but I don't see anything but carps, for the most part. That actually might be... yeah, it's a sunken ship. Or boat.
Okay, here we go. Something. Up, oh, another northern pike. Another big northern pike. He might be bigger than the last one. Holy crap. That is a big fish. Okay, this may be a little bit of work here, guys. I think we just saw another small lure right next to him. Okay, he is just taking it out farther and farther. Okay, we're going to increase the drag a little bit. And he's still taking it out. Okay, he's coming in now. Until he decides not to. <laughs> yep, like right now. Oh, gosh. He is putting some strain on my line. Yeah, we're going to have to fight this guy for a minute. I bet you anything, he's a five star. Judging from the amount of strength he has. Okay, he's. Nope. I was going to say, I think he's coming in. There's another one right there, too. That's another northern pike. Jeez. This fish is tough. Okay, I just increased the drag up to 94%, and he is not budging. Okay, there he comes. Alright, let's go topside and see what this guy's. All right, we've got him. We've got him. I think he finally tired out. Yeah, I don't want to push it to 100% because then if he takes off, he's going to snap that line like it's nothing. He needs a little bit of give. Okay, this is going to be hard to get him in here. Okay, we got him. Yep, five stars. New personal record. So this is the biggest one I've gotten so far. $338.05. 61.96 pounds. That's a big northern pike. Without a doubt. Yeah, I knew he was a good size. Yeah, we'll keep him. We might put him in the trophy room because he's bigger than what we've got in there already. Alright, let's see. We're going to try one more time over here towards that tree. And if we don't get a, new, a more, we'll go back over to that other spot that I was talking about. Because I did do an episode where I was doing it, but I was catching other things at the same time. I think I was catching beluga along with uh, some salmon. I just happened to get a northern pike while I was doing it. So Yeah, I don't think we have any quests that we're able to complete at this time. Ah, we got one. There he is. Okay, finally. 
And this is, uh, okay, we need to take that drag way down. We need to take that way down. This one's maybe, well, I don't know if he's as big as that first one I got, but he's definitely big enough to to make a difference here. Let's see if we can get him in here. All right. Oh, yeah, he's not as big as the first one, but he is a good example of what one looks like. You can now see it. See how they have the dark black spots? And there are no stripes on the belly. The belly is actually white. So that's what they look like. I'd love to get a big one. Three stars as big as I've gotten. So that was the one we saw that I popped up on the screen. But... Hundred three thirty three dollars twelve pounds, so not too bad. Okay, let me take a look here. Now see this is a thirty gram lure that see it's Sakura Boehner 105S. You have to be a level nineteen to get it at least. It singles out a more pike and northern pike. I have a few of them that do that. This one does that, but it's not nearly as big. And I'm thinking if I could find one, it might be a little bigger than that yet. No, I don't think I have anything bigger. So that's about as good as it's going to get. Unless I buy a new one. And I might just do that. Let's see. Let's see what's in the store here. Wait a see if there's anything here. Since I'm a level 23, I might have just unlocked something new. So crankbaits, they love crankbaits. I don't think we have anything big as far as... Well, we got some topwaters here. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Sakura Boehner 105S. Isn't that what I just had? But it doesn't look like that. Huh. It's just a different color. Well, we know they go for that. And we've got crankbaits. How big do those go? Let's see. Okay, so they tell you, they will show you if they go for it here. The Mer Park and the Northern Pike go for that. And we already have it. So, let's... Nothing goes for that. A lot of them are not attracted to fish in this particular map, huh? That goes for Wells Catfish. Alright, there's a few of them here that I went ahead and purchased just to make sure that I had a mix of things. Uh, the Amura Pike do go for this one. This is very similar to one I was using just a little while ago. And the only real main difference is that it's just different colors. Uh, this is a toppler we could try. It does seek out the Amora Pike. It does also the Northern Wells Catfish. And then there's the Secura Sodium Shad. That's another new one we haven't tried. So we got some choices here. Oh, and this is another one. The UFA Crankbeck Loxie. So that's just a Moor Pike Northern Pike. So I might just try this one actually. I haven't tried a crankbait yet. Since we've been getting them here, might as well try it again. And I think I am going to try one of that top lure once just to see if one of them goes for it. There's a like I said, there's still some sizable northern pike in here. Need to watch my drag too. I don't want to. Yep, there's one. Boom! That's a northern pike. He went right for that, so they do love that lure. He just phased through that object. <laughs> He's a magical fish. Okay, let's see. And 
he may be close to the same size as that big one there. Okay, let's give a little more oomph, because honestly, I think this... Nope, this is the same rod I was using, so I'm going to have to be careful. I do have a bigger rod that I can use if necessary. Because he's out 200 feet. And he's going to... Yeah, I'm going to give a little bit of leeway to him every now and then, but... We're going to try to keep this guy coming. Okay, let's push him here. Up, oh, he realized it. <laughs> now he's going to fight. There we go. Yep, we got him. Nah, he's not nearly as big. He's a two-star. But that lure worked. Now let me see. Let's pull up this third rod I've got. Now I've got another... I've got that crankbait on here. Let's try... That top water lure here. I want to see what this one does. Let's see here. The lure was right over here when I caught him. Because I remember I threw it towards that tree. Um, this is a top water, so we're not going to be able to see anything that's below us. So, and this is a different type of top water. I've not seen this. Oh, well, there we go. Boom. That didn't take long. Oh, okay. He's a, he was a bit strong there. And this is a bigger rod, too. Alright, we got him. Nope, another two star. <coughs> Definitely getting the northern pike here, but like I said, I would love to get into more again. Three star as big as I've gotten them. Well, that seemed to drag their attention real quick. The only thing is you can't see if they're coming until they're right there. There's one. I think. No, it's a beluga. Sorry. Well, darn. Guess he sashayed off or something. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see here. Where's that crankbait we had? I tell you what, let's try that one that was getting their attention before this one. Throw it out there by that tree. Wow, I actually went to the other side. Okay, there we go. Well, that kind of stands out. I'm going to take it to 24 on the speed. I could have seen a beluga though. I sure looked like a sure look like a pike. Yeah, it could have been a beluga if it was 
at that distance they do kind of look slender enough to be a pike. Yep, yeah, I think I might have had a case of mistaken identity there. Why is there a shortwave radio right there? Oh, holy crap, where did he come from? <laughs> holy, wow, two star, last minute. <laughs> well, that was cool. Okay, well, let's put that away. I'm going to jump over here to spawn point one. I want to see if those pikes are still over on this side of things. Where those right here? This is it. You got to get over here a little bit, though. If you toss it back in there, you're going to get some pike. At least I used. At least I was the last time I was here. Yeah, this place is like Northern Pike Central. There's a lot of small beluga around here too. See any now? That's kind of strange. There's a bunch of them last time I was here. Ah, here we go. Yep. Big old fella. Wow, look at that. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, they're still here. But I'm not seeing any north. I mean, a more pike. Is he caught? Okay, he was kind of stuck there for a minute. All right, let's see if we can't get this fella in. Yeah, we're gonna need to bump up our drag just a little bit. Yeah, he's a four star. Not the biggest, obviously, but we will definitely take him. Use that cash. We've been spending a lot of money on lures. <laughs> yeah, I can't cast that as far this time. That will probably still overshoot it. Yep. <laughs> Okay, we're right there on the edge of those stick ups. Yeah, I don't think there are any more pike here. I think they're elsewhere. I think this is strictly northern pike. See, there's a northern pike. There's a boom. Okay. Yep. There's the northern pike over there. Now, obviously, we got a new one. Yeah, he's not real big. He's a three star. I did see a smaller one over there. I'm just going to take one more throw here. 
And I got hooked on the ground again. There we go. And it did look lighter, so I'm just going to give us one more shot. See if we can't get that another one. A more. Yeah, this is a really, really good floor for these guys. It stands out really well under the slow, murky light, and I think that's an Amur right there. I think, maybe. Nope, it is a Northern Pike. Damn. Yeah, maybe they just aren't over here. Yeah, he's, he's not real big at all. 68, shoot. I'll release him. He's just a baby. <laughs> I mean, I'm averaging four stars <laughs> off the lures that I'm using here. Okay. Yeah, I did see one more over here, and I just wanted to make sure. No, nope, it is a northern pike. That was him, too. But he, okay, he may be... He, either he's hung up, or he's big. No, I think he was just hung up. Yeah, I'm not seeing any Amor Pike over here, guys. He may be bigger than I thought he was. Okay, we got him though. No, he's just two stars. We'll keep him though. Well, that's our northern pike spot. Like I said, the Amor seem to be kind of intermixed with them. They just aren't over here. At least none that I've seen. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. I guess it was kind of a pikey episode. So. Anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.